Youth is a time of questioning and doubt. Often the years pass into middle age before the individual recognizes the fallacies of his boyhood misgivings. Naturally, there always are some boys at Ridley who question their compulsory attendance at chapel services. An almost lifetime spent at Ridley, in daily contact with boys and old boys, can hardly fail to give one a glimpse of the truth. There is a moment in the life of most adults when any youthful misgivings that he may have had are swept away in a vision of services in the memorial chapel, when he knows that they gave to him something of infinite value, something that is difficult to put into words, but something that has affected him beyond the dreams of much fine gold. You will hear the school choir present the anthem, O Sing Joyfully, and the hymn Great Heart, sung by the chaplain. To every old boy of Ridley who had the distinction of being here, either with or under the late Dr. H. C. Griffith, the memory of his voice will be familiar. In the classroom, in his study during a problem of discipline, which seance will be recalled with, perhaps, affectionate anguish by many old boys, and on the playing fields. If you win, say nothing. If you lose, say less. Following the choir, you will hear the voice of the late Dr. Griffith reading the school prayer.
almighty God, by whose providence we are met in this place, and to hast and it together thine elect in one communion and fellowship, we beseech thee to keep in continual godliness all the present members of this school and those who have gone out from its walls. Grant us by thy spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and that we may think that which is good, and love that which thou commandest. Teach us to perceive and know what things we ought to do, and give us grace and power faithfully to fulfill the same, and to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Graft in our hearts the love of thy name. Increase in us true religion. And let thy Holy Spirit be our daily guide. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Ridley College was established in 1889 as Bishop Ridley College. Its long and challenging history will be found in, that, in the magnificent book, Ridley, the story of a school that was written by the late Kim Beatty. The modern, the up-to-date Ridley flourishes with many outward differences to the old. Surface distinctions that are essential in the age of atomic fission, of cybernetics, of a time when even Gogo is outdated, and many in the minds of present boys almost prehistoric. These differences are more apparent than real. The principles of life which should be implanted in the minds and characters of Ridley boys are still the foundation on which the school is based. Three great headmasters, the late doctors J. O. Miller, H. C. Griffith, and J. R. Hamilton laid these foundations. The present headmaster, Ted Pilgrim, the headmaster of the lower school, John Guest, the assistant to the headmaster, Jack Matheson, the older members of the staff, and, in fact, the whole staff. These men are maintaining the principles upon which Ridley was founded.